swarm of earthquakes rattles towns from Bay Area to Lake Tahoe at least several dozen earthquakes, including one 6.0 magnitude Temblor southeast of Lake Tahoe, shook the eastern Sierra Nevada range and rattled multiple Central Valley and Bay Area towns but did not appear to cause injuries or visible damage, the U.S. Geological Survey said Thursday. One quake preliminarily registering at 4.8 magnitude appeared to strike at 3.50 p.m. at a depth of about 6.8 miles, initially centering under Mariposa Road just north of Little Johns Creek about 10 miles east-southeast of Stockton. But USGS Interactive Maps soon removed the quake, apparently registering as a recorded reflection of the other quakes. The 6.0 quake, which struck a moment earlier near the Antelope Valley and Genoa Faults, was centered about three miles south of Colville in California's Mono County. A swarm of more than three dozen aftershock quakes followed, ranging from 3.2 to 4.8 in magnitude over the next hour. There were no reports of injuries, damage or other disruptions in any of the quakes. USGS officials said in a tweet that they were looking into why some users of the ShakeAlert app may not have received warning of the quake. In a press conference that ended just before 6 p.m. Thursday, USGS research geologist Austin Elliott acknowledged the largest quake had been upgraded from 5.9 to 6.0 magnitude, and explained further about the initial error that led instruments to a phantom quake registry. This earthquake really occurred right at the margin of the operational earthquake warning system, and in an area with relatively sparse seismic instrumentation, Elliott said in part. So what that means is that the initial magnitude takes a little bit longer to calculate, and may have some greater uncertainty to it because there just aren't as many instruments that are recording it. In follow-up answers to other media outlets' questions, Elliot clarified that Thursday's quakes were tectonic and neither volcanic in nature nor related to ongoing drought conditions. The quake apparently trigged rockfalls that scattered small and medium-sized boulders into remote Mono County roadways, including Cal Trans closure and rerouting along US Route 395 and State Road 89, according to social media posts. BART trains system-wide were briefly delayed for 10 minutes as part of regular quake-based precautions. USGS scientists have predicted a 63% chance of a magnitude 6.7 or larger quake striking the Bay Area in the next 30 years. Contact George Kelly at 408-859-5180.